Look, it's time now to bring you a look at our truth or fake segment. I'm joined here in the studio by uh, France 24's Vedika Bahal. Uh, Vedika, in India, farmers have been protesting en masse, if you will, uh, for legal changes that will protect, ultimately, their livelihood. You found, though, that some have been targeted by uh, disinformation, you might say, uh, many kind of misleading claims around their machinery. What more do we know at this stage? Yes, Rochelle, Indian farmers in Punjab and Haryana have been demonstrating since uh, February. They're demanding legal guarantees uh, on fixed prices for their crops to protect their livelihoods. Now, this is reminiscent uh, of uh, farmers' protests that took place uh, in 2020 and 2021 in India, uh, where hundreds of thousands turned out to protest against Narendra Modi's handling of the agricultural sector. And they say that he's since broken his promises to them. Also important to note, uh, that a nationwide election uh, is just weeks away now in India, so that puts uh, PM Modi under quite a lot of pressure indeed. Now, with that backdrop, uh, many accounts on social media are accusing the farmers of not really being uh, in need to protest or minimising their need to protest. Like this example on X had over 600,000 views there. Uh, it shows a video of a modified tractor, and the caption says, the so-called farmers are making unrealistic demands from the government of India. The purportedly poor farmers Farmers can afford to modify tractors, but also demand pensions and other stuff from the government of India. It's evident that this protest against the Modi government is politically motivated. And indeed, if we watch that video, we do see a very souped up tractor there. It has a, a shield all around the body there. But the claim here very much is, is that if these farmers uh, are able to have the, 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 the disposable income to uh, pimp out to their tractors, if you will, like this, uh, and modify them with these luxury modifications, then uh, they really have no need to be protesting uh, from the government and that they, are, they aren't struggling as much as they claim to be, Rochelle. So, Vedika, how are you able to kind of fact-check this claim, if you will? Are they true or are they fake in terms of these images? It is resoundingly false, Rochelle, and we were able to determine this via certain clues in the video. Uh, for example, like the name of the tractor on the side there, we can see it's labelled 260G Hatat. And indeed, a quick Google search uh, takes us to the manufacturer of that tractor, which is a Turkish company called Hatat Tractor. We can see our model there from uh, the viral video uh, clearly visible. Now, I also did a reverse image search on that video that's been circulating, and it led me to this TikTok account. Uh, and it was published by a Turkish account on the first, uh, on the 27th of. January, which is actually before the protests uh, in India even began. Now, the video on TikTok uh, was slightly longer, and in it, uh, I was able to see more of, of the video itself. We can also see in the background in that longer video the name of a shop in the background labeled, a bit difficult to see here on the big screen, but it is labeled Chelik Aku. And again, a quick Google search on that, on that name of the shop there led me straight here. Chelikaku is a Turkish company based in Turkey. It sells uh, heavy duty vehicle batteries and equipment. Uh, so that really shows us here that this video is out of context. It isn't filmed in India with the farmers' protest uh, or against the farmers. In India, it is filmed in Turkey, Rochelle. OK, all right. Thanks for clearing that up for us. Avedika, you also mentioned some other examples of fake news around Indian farmers, uh, also heavily uh, featuring tractors. Tell us more about those. Yes, that's right. The farmers' protest has been targeted by misleading information, often attacking who the farmers are on a personal level or their equipment. Now, another photo that circulated heavily on social media was this one uh, that shows a very futuristic uh, looking tractor indeed. Now, this was picked up by uh, Indian media outlet Op India, which we have to note here is a right wing outlet. It is a uh, very pro BJP party, pro Modi outlet. Um, but the caption that, they, that they've put here says that uh, Indian intelligence agencies have alerted the police that tractors modified by the Indian farmers are going to be used to overrule the police, uh, the police barriers and tear gas. Um, now, when I opened their, their link to the official article on their website, however, it is clearly watermarked on that image uh, to be an AI generated one. Now, underneath, they have also specified that in their own caption uh, as well. For good measure, we did put this image through a uh, image verifier, if you will, and the probab and it showed us the probability uh, of how how much how likely it is that this image is a synthetic one, and the probability of that was 100%. So this image uh, is not real. Um, another out of context image being shared is this one. This had over 
300,000 views on X on this post alone. Um, it says here, a group of poor farmers arrived in a four uh, crore rupee Mercedes, that's about 450,000 uh, euros, to block the road. Um, again, another accusation that the farmers are exaggerating their struggle um, and a reverse image search shows that this is uh, actually an older photo. Uh, it is from 2020 uh, and it does, um, again, recycle that narrative that we're seeing uh, in these examples. Another popular narrative uh, seen in these, uh, in these posts online actually attacks the farmer's religion, uh, like these ones here. Um, now, many of the farmers are indeed Sikhs from the Punjab uh, state, and many of these posts accuse them of being uh, Khalistanis, which means that they are supporters uh, of a separatist movement to establish a Sikh sovereign state. Um, but many of these accounts, if not all of them posting these, uh, these claims are indeed uh, Hindu nationalist accounts, um, or they use extremely out of context, uh, unrelated images, Michelle. All right, Bidika, fascinating. Thank you very much for our truth or fake segment.